Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the previous video, you have uh, seen that what is a finite field? What was that? It was a field having finite number of elements. So in this video, we shall be seeing what is the order of finite field and how can we find this order, right? So uh, as you know that finite field contains a finite number of elements, what does that mean? It means that it cannot contain the set of uh, the field of uh, rationals why because this is an infinite field so this is not the case so, therefore it must have a prime subfield for some prime p right now how can we determine the order of this field this is the main question of interest in this video uh, and by field i mean finite field right so we have a very good theorem uh, which can answer this question. So let us see this. It says that any finite field with characteristic P has P to the power N elements for some positive integer N. So if we have, uh, if you have a field, finite field, whose characteristic is P, this is important, then it must have P to the power N elements in it. And in other words, we can say that the order of the field that is p to the power n. So let us see its proof. It is also very simple proof. So uh, in the starting, let us consider any finite field. Let us denote it by capital F and uh, its subfield. Let us denote that by capital K. So uh, what do we have? We have a field and its subfield is K, right? And this is our finite field. This is the finite field, right? Then they are saying we can uh, have a vector space of this field over the subfield. So uh, whenever you have some finite field and uh, so uh, in that case, you can define uh, that field as a vector space over its subfield, right? So uh, then the vector space of f over k, that means you take the vectors in this uh, field f and you take the scalars from this field f. Uh, so the vector space is of finite dimension. Why? Because uh, this field f, this is a finite dimension. Therefore, the vector space over some finite field is also of finite dimension. Let us call that dimension as n. So there exists a basis for any vector space. We know there exists a basis. What, what do you mean by basis? That means it consists a set of linearly independent vectors or elements uh, which span whole of the vector space. Whole of the vector space could be generated from those few linearly independent vectors. So uh, this field uh, also, this vector space also has a basis. Let us call the elements as alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha n. Why alpha n? Because we have at most n elements in it. Moreover, uh, what does this mean? It means that if you take any element from this field f, so that could be, uh, we, we can take that to be a, so that could be expressed as a linear combination of these, in, uh, these elements from the basis these alpha elements, right? Alpha n elements. So where these uh, beta 1, beta 2 up to beta n, they are the scalars and they are taken from the field over which the, this vector space is defined. That is, they are taken from k, right? So uh, we, we know, uh, we have expressed an element a of the field f as a linear combination of the elements of basis. This alphas belongs to F and these betas, they, they belong to K, right? So now, K is a prime subfield of F. Why this is so? Because the characteristic of the field, we have assumed that to be N. So in that case, K is the prime subfield of F. It is the smallest subfield. Hence, every element of K has P elements. Why? Because the characteristic is P. Therefore, or in other words, we can say that this field K, subfield K forms a copy of ZP. So 
this is justified therefore we have shown that the field f has p to the power n elements within it so uh, this is very use, uh, useful a uh, theorem you must remember it what does this say it says that any finite field with characteristic p has p to the power n elements or in other words the order of field is p to the power n for some positive integer n whose characteristic is p right so that is it for this video thank you for watching